Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to Rocky Hill Baptist on Sunday morning on the Baptist Men's Day. We recognize this day for uh, uh, for what the ministry is for, for our Baptist men, and uh, we're going to do this program. It's going to be, I pray, a blessing to your hearts, each one of us, and us too. We've got a good group back here. Uh, a few announcements to make. Uh, if I get to the right place here, y'all bear with me. I, I was doing pretty good till five minutes ago. Anyway, um, youth fundraiser following the service. Uh, if we'll have soup and sandwiches, good meal, and uh, please, please, if you care to come by and support that. And if you can't, if you got other plans, well, we'll have some uh, ushers. Uh, in the back, I think, or different different parts to uh, if you want to make a donation for the youth fund. I also have uh, I have a couple cards to want to read. Rocky Hill Baptist Church, thank you so much for all the food and loving support during our loss of Pat. We love you all and appreciate all you continue to do. God bless you all, Dean Simpson and family. And also, okay, I should have opened this before. Thank you, Rocky Hill Church family, for your many expressions of Christian love and support during our recent death of Mother Penny, Grandma. Your visits, calls, card, and food and words of support and comfort are deeply appreciated. As Philip, Philippians 4, 5 says, let your gentleness be known to all men. The Lord is at hand. Thank you, Rocky Hill members, for letting your gentleness be known to us and through your actions. We know the Lord's at hand. Finally, thank you for following Jesus' teachings in Philippians 4, 9, to the things which you learned and received and heard and saw in me. These do, and the God of peace will be with you. Thank you for living out my mother's favorite Bible verses. I love David, Jenny, Cameron, and Gracie. Okay. Uh, the announcements you saw overhead, and let's stand and greet each other in the Lord and say good morning and God bless you. Brother Jimmy Davis is going to have a morning prayer, and we'll we'll just sit, not join hands today due to sickness and things. But Jimmy, let's all bow our head in prayer and give thanks to the Lord, most kind and gracious Heavenly Father. We do want to, to ask you to visit with us in a special way today. Let's all. Uh, pray and ask the Lord to let us glean from the word today that we might have more grace to give to, to the people that we come in contact with this week, dear Heavenly Father, that we might have more courage to tell people of the love of Jesus Christ that we come in contact with this week, dear Heavenly Father. Let's glean from this service we have here today, Lord, that we might have more strength and ability to witness 
so that people will have come in contact with this. The Lord's here to visit with us today, and I must glean from the service here today. It's, if there's one here today that doesn't know thee, I pray that this will be the day they come to know you as their Lord and Savior. I ask this in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. things to share with you about the Baptist men, what we've been about, and caring for our church family and those in the community and need help and did it, many various different things. And, uh, there's, there's things like our mowing ministry, uh, to help with the Christmas nativity, uh, wood ministry, uh, Easter sunrise breakfast, our church work days, and uh, I'm going to start out with our mowing ministry. Just mentioning this. Uh, if I'm going to call some names out. And if, if, if you would stand up, I'm going to call your name and stay standing. Until I finish this. Mike Christopher. Joe Williams. Corey Jordan. Robert Rankin. Larry Campbell. Jeannie Bimbo, Sue Williams, Sherry Murph, Barry Benfield, Dale Gooden, and myself. These are a part of our mowing ministry that from March to October, we, we several yards that we mow, we make a schedule out, and these, all of these folks help with that. And, we're very thankful for that. And any of you others who would like to join us this year, we'd love to have you. It kind of spreads it out and, and it helps those folks that are in need. But thank you all very much. Uh, a couple of other things we've done. We've, we've, we've helped with some uh, rebuilding a deck, and some uh, rails for that. and. We got to do a wheelchair ramp a few months ago for one of our members, and, and the, the probably 15 people come out to help with that, and it was such a suburb job. And a couple of them, I, I really thought they were robots, like twins. They just worked so fast and hard and knew what they were doing. I'm glad to have this. I mentioned uh, the Christmas nativity. You know, our church has been doing this for 40 years. And, and it's got to be really, uh, they've got it down pat good, if, uh, the setup, what we need. And also helping with the uh, uh, every night work with it. And then we take it down and bring it back and store it. Uh, this wood ministry, uh, right now we've got about five families we're helping. We've got a good ample supply. And uh, if you know anyone that needs help with that, let us know. Uh, Easter sunrise breakfast coming up here in a couple months, isn't it, Pastor? They've several. They, there'll be a lot of folks for that, and it's a great fellowship time. And, uh, Brotherhood handles that in, uh, uh, in in the cooking and you know getting it together. But you guys know it's it's a great time for fellowship and getting us started for our Easter service. Uh, Church work days, that's something that we do uh, a couple times a year. We, we try to plan those ahead, and there's things that for cleaning and repair, gutters, clean out, shrubs, different things like that. Whatever the trustees and Miss Patty comes up with us, and we kind of jump on it. I uh, one of the, A couple other things we've helped with... Uh, Operation Christmas Child, the trips to Boone. We've had uh, nine or ten this year to go up there to work. And uh, also just taking the boxes up. That's a good, worthy mission, mission 
in itself. We've also helped with Baptist Children's Home, getting, trying to get the help with that trip to get it together. Miss Sue is, uh, gets, pretty much gets that together, but some of us guys are, are there to help. And y'all think about when we schedule that, because that's a good work at Thomasville at the Baptist Children's Home. Let's see, uh, I was going to show a video, but in times, if reference to time, uh, and it was about disaster relief. And this year, Region 7, which region we're in, is going to be in charge uh, at Wilkesburg Baptist, May 1st and 2nd. And if anybody's ever thought about taking any of that training, you could be called out most any time. We need, we need younger people, but then again, the folks that's not working or retired, you know, are more able to go at any given time. Uh, think about that. Let me know. We'll show you how to get registered for it. I myself have, uh, I think I've got some that's running out this year. I've got to recertify on uh, mass feeding and you guys, uh, that's, that's a good, good thing to be involved in. We've been involved with some mission rallies that they have every two times a year, I think. We've got one coming up in Hudson, February the 19th. And uh, also, the mission conference is going to be April 10th and 11th in Winston-Salem. I think that'll be at Calvary Baptist. And that'll be very, very worthwhile. Our guys, that we meet uh, once a month, second Monday night at 7.30, we have, we have a Bible study, we have a little bit of testimony maybe of sharing something about in their lives and some planning, invite you guys to come out for that, and we're going to have a blessed day for the rest of, for this uh, next hour now, and open your hearts for what the Lord has for us. Uh, Pastor Lee's going to come up and talk a little bit about older RAs, and then Robert Rankin is going to share a little bit about the younger, so what's going on there. Yeah. God bless you. Before I talk about the older RAs, I just want to express an appreciation to Brother Jim and Joe and the others that head up the Baptist men. They do a great job. There's a whole lot that they do behind the scenes that we don't ever realize. And let's give our men a big hand. <clears throat> Having the privilege of working with the older RAs uh, is, is a joy. Second Corinthians 5.20 says, We are ambassadors for Christ. And that is the theme verse for the RAs. An ambassador means that we are representatives in another land. And truly, as ambassadors for Christ, one thing that we're trying to instill into these young men, uh, they're not boys anymore once they get to the older RAs, they're young men. We're trying to instill the fact that we are representatives of Jesus Christ. And really and truly, we're representatives in a foreign land, so to speak because uh, we live in a nation that in a lot of ways is not Christian friendly anymore. And we need to be the representatives that God has called us to be. And so we focus on character and we focus on the things that they can do in practical ways to reach out to their family, to their school friends, to the community, uh, to be ambassadors for Christ in this world in which we live. I want to recite the Royal Ambassador Pledge to you. I remember my days as an RA a long, long time ago. Uh, my uncle was the RA leader, and we learned the pledges and the mottos and the verses, and I have never, ever forgotten the Royal Ambassador Pledge. And I want you to listen very carefully to the words of this Royal Ambassador Pledge. It says, as a Royal Ambassador, I will do my best to become a well-informed, responsible follower of Christ, to have a Christ-like concern for all people, to learn how the message of Christ is carried around the world, to work with others in sharing Christ, and to keep myself clean and healthy in mind and body. Now, folks, that's a powerful pledge, isn't it? And one of the things that I, I do with the older RAs is to work. We've taken in a couple of times that I've met with them, and we just took that pledge, and I broke it down, 
and taught them that pledge. And the goal, like I say, my goal with older RAs is to help them understand the importance of being the ambassadors that we need to be in the world in which we live and to take that pledge and apply it to their lives every day and to live for Christ every day, everywhere they go. Thank you. Good morning again. Um, myself, I'm Robert, and myself with uh, Mike Harmon, we work with the younger RAs. We have that privileged, and we work with boys ranging, ranging, uh, ranging from first to sixth grade. Um, so much like what Lee had talked about with the um, with RAs, you know, we are all, if we're Christians, we are all ambassadors for Christ. It's our job and our duty to, you know, witness to the loss. Um, and one way to be able to do that is first you have to establish a relationship with Lord with Jesus first. So that's what uh, we do with the younger RAs. We want to focus on, you know, helping these young men to learn to start developing that relationship. Because as we all know, this world can throw all kinds of uh, pressures and things at you. And we know the devil is always at work. And he particularly likes to work at our young people. So the quicker we can learn, teach them how to develop that relationship, the better off they're going to be to handle those pressures. So that's, that's what we want to focus on. And so we do meet um, on Wednesday nights, it's the second and fourth Wednesday of every single month. So when we meet, we, we do do devotions. We, um, we have a children's devotion book that we go through. Um, then we have some discussions on that. Um, and we really just kind of go through and how do you pray? How do you talk to God? How do you start learning how to develop that relationship? So that's kind of what we, we base on so that they can have that, like the pledge says, the Christ-like concern for all people. Um, we, are all, we are all to have that Christ-like concern. Um, so that, that's what we focus toward. Also during RAs, we, we do some fun projects. Usually each year we try to do an annual fishing trip. The boys really enjoy that. Um, we try to do some fun activities um, throughout the year. Um, another thing we got to do this year, which um, we got a group together to go down to JARS, which is, um, it's a, JARS has a field day, and it's, those who don't know about JARS, it's kind of a jungles missions group. Their main focus is to go out and, um, you know, to the lands that don't have a different language, that don't have a Bible translated in their language. Their whole focus is to translate a Bible in their own language so that they can read the Word of God and learn the Word of God and, and see what Jesus did for us all on the cross. Um, so there's many different ways that they get to go, that this missions group goes and does that. They have uh, specially um, crafted airplanes that have to, to land and take off in very short distances. Um, they got uh, many different uh, four-wheel drive um, vehicles that they have to use, boats, helicopters, a lot of uh, really unique and, in my opinion, some really cool things to see. And um, so we got a group together and we um, took, went down there and uh, got to see some different ways that the, the word of God gets spread. Um, and those are some other things that we try to want to try to do more with the RAs, especially this year. Um, we didn't have as many get to go this last trip. so. Um, I believe there's another one, Jim may know, in March. George, yeah, there's another field trip or field day in March, and I think it'd be a great opportunity to take some, um, not only the RA boys, but in maybe the youth or anybody that would want to, GAs, anybody that wants to be involved in that. It's just a really great opportunity to see how the Word of God gets spread through that ministry. Um, so those are some of the things that we like to do in the RAs. Um, and it really is all about just building that relationship with God. Because um, if you don't have that, then you miss the whole first step. So um, that's, that's our um, all focus. And of course, with the younger RAs, um, they don't have a driver's license. So they can't, they can't get themselves here on Wednesday night. So just encourage all you parents and guardians, if you, know, you have young men in that age range, Please bring them and let them be a part of this great program. Uh, that's the only way they can get here is if you bring them. So um, that's all I had. Thank you, guys.
page number 546. We'll sing all three verses for our offertory hymn. pray I want to thank Joe Williams for the good job he's done to put in order to things today and put it together in a great way. He always does. Does a good job in anything he does. He's a, he's a fine mentor to any of us. But let's, let's pray. I want to also I want to thank these RA boys, the older boys up here today that's going to help us with this usher. It's a good job. Thank you, God. Let's pray. Our dear blessed Lord, again, we thank you, Father, for this beautiful day, for our health and strength, for being able to come to your house. And, Father, we just lift up to you all these prayer requests that's been mentioned, that these that's special needs, Father God, that's of, of loss of loved ones and anxieties of things coming up. And just bless them in a special way. But in this part of the service, as, as we give to you, Father, just, just bless these gifts for your furtherance of your kingdom around this world and here at home. Bless the giver for your name's sake, for your glory and your peace. And we ask in Jesus' name. Amen.
Good morning, Rocky Hill. Have you got excited yet? Good. We'll try not to diminish your fire then. I want to tell you a little bit about my life and what's happened to me. Most of it you know about the health issues, but there's another part I'm going to share today. You know bits and pieces of them. We're going to try to put it all together. Got a few scriptures here, two. I'm going to try to be brief. We're going to cover about a 30-year span of time, and the soup's on. So I know we've got to get busy. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, lean not unto thy own understanding, and always acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy paths. Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. Pretty good advice. If you don't get anything else, you can take that with you and use it. It's good stuff.